Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to higher. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. And I sure hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Today, we coming back. We're still in the book of Revelation. And we're on chapter 14, the Lamb and his 144,000 followers. <clears throat> before we begin our reading, before we get our prayer for children of all ages, I want to know are you guys saved? Have you been baptized down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins? Have you laid down your life and received Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior? Are you reading God's word daily, preferably the King James Version of the Bible? Going down to your knees and praying and crying out to the Father in sincerity and truth because you want that personal relationship with the Father. That's what he's requiring of each and every one of his children. You have to have that personal relationship. It's not about religion. It's about a personal relationship that you have with the Father where you can hear him when he's speaking to you and you can be obedient to his will. Right? You can fulfill the will that he has for your life. We're out to win souls. That's what it's about, to Christ Jesus. And um, I sure hope that you repenting daily because we live in these fleshly bodies and the flesh is always warring with the spirit. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And sometimes we're in error and don't even know it. Many times we can be in error just from company uh, 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 that we keep or family that come around and they're not holy. You have to be holy. Be ye holy. Say, be ye holy for I am holy, say the Lord. That's right. Without holiness, no man going to get into the kingdom of heaven. And no man going to see the Father. You've got to be holy. Hallelujah. Yeah, well, repent means to turn from your wicked ways. That's what it means. We don't sit on purpose. We don't go along to get along. No, we don't do that. We don't compromise. We don't condone sin. We stand up for what is holy and what is righteous. You do what is right in God's eyes. you got to be pleasing to the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, what are you waiting for? Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. Okay, know this. If you're not serving the Lord, you're serving the devil, whether you know it or not. Okay? This is what it is. There's no in-betweens. Like people say, oh, like the Lord said, because you're not cold or hot, but lukewarm, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. Yes. You got to be. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. I always tell you the truth because I love you and Father God loves you more. We're going to say a prayer for children of all ages and we're going to get right into our scripture reading. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father, for this day. Thank you, Father, for every day. Thank you, Father, for your daily provisions and your love. Thank you, Father, for giving us parents that love us and train us up by your word, the Bible. Thank you, Father, for giving us siblings that we love. And thank you, Father, for teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated, with love and respect. We love you, my Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen, indeed, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Revelation chapter 14, the Lamb and his 144,000 followers. I looked and saw the Lamb standing on Mount Zion. With him were 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. Then I heard a sound from heaven that was like a roaring flood or a loud thunder or even like the music of hearts. And a new song was being sung in front of God's throne and in front of the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn that song except the 144,000 who had been rescued from the earth. All of these are pure virgins, and they follow the Lamb wherever he leads. They have been rescued to be presented to God and the Lamb as the most precious people on earth. They never tell lies, and they are innocent. The messages of the three angels. I saw another angel. This one was flying across the sky and had the eternal good news to announce to the people of every race, tribe, language, and nation on earth. The angel shouted, Worship and honor God. The time has come for him to judge everyone. Kneel down before the one who created heaven and earth, the oceans, and every stream. A second angel followed and said, The great city of Babylon has fallen. This is the city that made all nations drunk. The immoral. Hmm. 
Now God is angry and Babylon has fallen. Finally, a third angel came and shouted, Here is what will happen if you worship the beast and the idol and have the mark of the beast on your hand or forehead. You will have to drink the wine that God gives to everyone who makes him angry. You will feel his mighty anger, and you will be tortured with fire and burning sulfur while the holy angels and the Lamb look on. If you worship the beast and the idol and accept the mark of its name, you will be tortured day and night. The smoke from your torture will go up forever and ever, and you will never be able to rest. God's people must learn to endure. They must also obey his commands and have faith in Jesus. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Put this in writing. From now on, the Lord will bless everyone who has faith in him when they die. The Spirit answered, Yes, they will rest from their hard work, and they will be rewarded for what they have done. The earth is harvested. I looked and saw a bright cloud, and someone who seemed to be the Son of Man was sitting on the cloud. He wore a gold crown on his head and held a sharp sickle in his hand. An angel came out of the temple and shouted, Start cutting with your sickle. Harvest season is here, and all crops on earth are ripe. The one on the cloud swung his sickle and harvested the crops. Another angel with a sharp sickle came, then came out of the temple in heaven. After this, an angel with power over fire came from the altar and shouted to the angel who had the sickle. He said, All grapes on earth are ripe. Harvest them with your sharp sickle. The angel swung his sickle on earth and cut off its grapes. He threw them into a pit where they were trampled on as a sign of God's anger. The pit was outside the city, and when the grapes were mashed, blood flowed out. The blood turned into a river that was about 200 miles long and almost deep enough to cover a horse. Tomorrow, God's will, and we come back still in the book of Revelation, chapter 15, the last of the terrible troubles. You all tell your loved ones that you love them, and I promise tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some, he died for us all. And if you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, what are you waiting for? Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's not something up for debate or discussion. It's something we almost do, so please do it. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, let it go. I don't care who he or she is or what they've done, let it go. If you want your Father who art in heaven, you want our Father who art in heaven to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions, you must forgive your fellow man for his sins and his transgressions. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Hallelujah. I love you all with the love of the Lord and Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day, children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike. God bless you. Bye-bye.